Today in Madden 23, we find out which NFL team is the NFL's biggest loser. I will be taking all 32 NFL teams and putting them into different head-to-head -head matchups. As soon as a team wins a game, they will be eliminated and the losing team will move on to the next round. This will continue until we have one team remaining and they will be deemed the NFL's biggest loser. This wheel is going to determine which teams are going to play each other in each round. We will go one game at a time and the team that wins will be knocked out and the team that loses will be moving on to the next round. The team cannot play twice in the same round that way every team plays the same amount of games so we are not going to waste any time let's get into the first matchup which team is going to start this off we have the carolina panthers which team has a chance to be eliminated the bears or the jets it's going to be jets versus panthers whichever team gets drawn first on the wheel is going to be the home team the jets are on the verge of moving on to the next round and in this tournament you don't want to move on to the next round you want to win and get out of this one but on third and two, Mike White is picked off and the Panthers are going to win this game. So we will be seeing the New York Jets in the second round. The Panthers are out of this. They're both off the wheel for round number one. Our second matchup will be the Lions. And let's see which team they will be taking on. They will be taking on either the Chargers or the Titans. Barely going to be the Chargers. In a very good game, we have a tie game. A minute and eight seconds left between the Chargers and the Lions. If Justin Irwin, the Chargers could pick up this first. And kick a game-winning field goal. This one's over, but Eckler is going to make it fourth and two. To take the lead for the Chargers and put the Lions on the verge of moving on to the second round. Let's see if the Chargers can take a three-point lead. The kick is up, and it is good. But with 13 seconds left, we have a chance for our first overtime game and only the second game of this tournament. Jared Goff needs to get the Lions into field goal range. I must have messed up the time. There's zero seconds on the clock. There is a flag. It could be roughing the passer. Detroit might get an extra play. You see zero seconds on the clock here with Detroit trying to kick a field goal. They got a roughing the passer call, put them in field goal range, but they are way short and Detroit, unless a big fumble opportunity or they're taking it for the touchdown, Detroit's moving on to the next round. Let's see what teams are going to be joining the Jets and the Detroit Lions. We have the Baltimore Ravens and the Ravens will be taking on either the Commanders or the Raiders. They will be taking on the Vegas Raiders. And we are not even going to have to jump into the field for this one because the Raiders are going to lose to the Baltimore Ravens by 17 points and they'll be moving on. Make sure you're making your predictions in the comments down below. Who's going to be going to the loser bowl? It's not going to be the Super Bowl. It's going to be the loser bowl. We have the Commanders in the next matchup. And the Commanders will be taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Can Tom Brady get one last win? Second and goal. 16 seconds left from Tampa Bay's three-yard line. Carson Wentz can send the Commanders out of this tournament with the win and tom brady might be going around two and with 10 seconds left can tom brady drive it all the way down the field they need a touchdown to win this game let's see brady he's firing he's got to go hail mary obviously maybe get a pi call mike evans has seven commanders on him with two seconds left triple zeros is he going around two he throws it short it's caught by k Otten, but he's going down and the bucks are going around two so back to the wheel we go we got 24 teams left 12 more games in round one and we are going to have the Arizona Cardinals. And let's see which team the Cardinals are going to be taking on. Which teams will the Cardinals be taking on here in round number one? I feel like there hasn't been that many surprises so far. It's going to be Cardinals, Bengals, and Arizona. The Cardinals have a chance to pull the biggest upset so far in this tournament. No doubt about it. If they could pick up one first down on third and ten and eliminate the Bengals and send them to round two. And Kyler Murray with an absolute laser to AJ Green. Cardinals are done. They win. Bengals are going around two. The Cincinnati Bengals. Now that is an upset. The Cardinals are a pretty solid team when they're fully healthy, but still the Bengals should win. Now we have the Denver Broncos with Russell Wilson. And let's see which team the Broncos are going to be taking on here in round number one. It's going to be Rams or Bills. Another really good team. We're going to have the Buffalo Bills. Russell Wilson and the Broncos are going to go for it on fourth and three. At their own 30, this is the game. And Russell Wilson is going to load up, and what a throw. Real quick, everyone, before we get back into the video, only about 4% of the people watching this video right now are actually subscribed. If you're enjoying the content you're seeing, make sure to subscribe to the channel. But let's get back into the video. Now it's third and one from the Broncos. 20 for the Bills. A first down here at one yard, and it's over. And the Bills will be going home. They'll be done. This is a tournament. You want to go home early, and the Broncos are going to round two. 20 teams are left for round one, and we are going to have the Vikings or the Giants. We're going to get to see Justin Jefferson. Will he pick up a win for his team or are they going to be going to round two? Let's see which team the Vikings will be facing in round number one. It's going to be the New England Patriots. We have our first overtime game, 38-38, but if the Patriots get in the end zone right here, it's over. 
No playoff overtime rules. A first touchdown would end it. Second and goal. Mac Jones will actually throw. And Mac Jones has a wide open Devontae Parker. And the Vikings are going around two. First overtime game. That was kind of fun. A touchdown will send the Patriots out of here. And the Vikings will go to the next round. We have the Miami Dolphins. We'll see which team they're going to take on. Very good team, obviously. A few other options here. A few other good teams that are still on this wheel. This is the halfway point. This is our eighth game of round one. It's the Titans. The Titans are going to come into Miami and send the Dolphins to round two. They are in victory formation. The Titans are going to win 24 to 17. We have reached the halfway point. There are 16 more teams. We have eight more games of round one, and we have the Chiefs up next. And which team will the Chiefs be taking on? Imagine it's the Eagles. We just passed the Eagles. That would have been very funny. They're going to take on the Jaguars. Third and two from Mahomes with a four-point lead a first down here sends the jacks to the next round and mahomes says why not get a lot more to juju smith schuster the chiefs win they're out the jacks are moving on there have been a few upsets i would say majority of the time though the team that's supposed to win has won now we have the eagles and the eagles will be taking on not the Eagles, they'll be taking on the Dallas Cowboys. A fourth and 10 for Jalen Hurts and the Eagles down eight points to the Cowboys. Neither of these teams care if they send the other one around two. They don't like each other, but Jalen Hurts is gonna fumble. Doesn't matter what happens here. Cowboys recover. If Philly recovers, don't tell me they're going to take this in for six. Doesn't matter. Cowboys are going to win this game. And they are going to send the NFC champion Eagles to round two. Six more matchups of round one to go. Next up, we're going to have the Giants. And the Giants are going to take on the San Francisco 49ers. Daniel Jones and the Giants pull up an upset even at home. They are not predicted to beat the San Francisco 49ers. They are in victory formation. Dale Jones will take a knee, and the 49ers are going around two. We have the Eagles, the 49ers, the Bengals, three of the four teams in the championship games this year are going around two. There have been more upsets than I thought they would be. Let's see what the Falcons can do. And the Atlanta Falcons are going to be taking on the Rams, who will be at full strength. So Cubs back, Donald, Matthew Stafford. Rams have a chance to tie this game. They are down seven with a minute 46 left. They are second in goal from the Falcons four. And Skaronic is just going to be short. No, they're going to rule him in. I thought it was a little short. We have a tie game. But the Falcons answer right back. They go second and goal against the Rams right after the touchdown drive by the Rams. All they have to do is run out the rest of this time and kick a game-winning field goal. But with Madden simulations doing stupid things, sometimes they took a timeout for some reason. No idea why they did that. Hopefully Patterson doesn't score. And of course he scored. Not sure why he didn't go down and kick a game-winning field goal. The Rams have a chance now to actually tie it. I don't think they're going to. Yeah, Matthew Stafford gets sacked. They're not going to tie it, but I don't know why they wouldn't just kick the game-winning field goal anyway. And this game is over. We are going to have a lot of good teams in the second round. I honestly can't believe how many good teams we're going to have. Next up is the Saints. Only eight more teams in round one, including the Saints, and they'll be taking on the Colts. The Saints are down 10 points. They are third and goal from the seven. They would need a touchdown here, and then an onside kick, and then a field goal. They might kick the field goal here. I would imagine they do. Fourth and goal from the seven. Kick the three, maybe hope for the onside kick. This is pretty much the game right here. We get the onside kick. See if the Saints can get it. And the Colts get it. Let's see if the Saints are able to stop the Colts offense. And Jonathan Taylor will end that. We got six teams left here in round number one. We have the Texans. Let's see who the Texans are going to play. If they could play the Bears, that'd be really funny. No, they're going to play the Cleveland Browns. We pretty much don't have to jump into this one. The Browns are going to handle business. The Sean Watson's going to come back to Houston. They are going to beat the Texans 42 to 14. Not really surprised to see the Texans going on to round two. So with only four teams left, whichever two teams are going to get drawn right here, they're going to play each other. And then the other two teams are obviously going to play each other. So we have the Steelers. And then there are three other teams they could play. They could play the Seahawks, the Bears, or the Packers. Who are they going to be taking on? So it's going to be Steelers, Packers, and then it's going to be Seattle versus Chicago. Aaron Rodgers and the Packers are going to come into Pittsburgh. They're going to take out the Steelers. They're going to go into victory formation. So Aaron Rodgers can't win a Super Bowl, but at least he's not going to win the Loser Bowl. And obviously, I'm just joking. Obviously, Aaron Rodgers won a Super Bowl, but the last few years, he cannot win an NFC Championship. Between the two teams we have left, we're going to spin just to see who has home field. We're going to have the Bears host in Seattle. Third and fourth for Seattle in our final round one matchup. If they pick up this first down, this game is over, and the Bears will be going around two. If not, the Bears have a chance to maybe win this game, and DK Metcalf is going to pick up the first down. The Bears are able to save a timeout, though, because Metcalf went out of bounds, but we'll see if it winds up mattering anyway. They pick up another first down. As long as they don't score a touchdown, it doesn't matter. Geno Smith will kneel it out, and the Bears will be going in the next round. After round number one, we are left with 16 NFL teams 
that have a chance to be called the NFL's biggest loser. And here is our updated wheel. Let me know in the comments down below. Biggest surprise of round number one. Who did you not expect to be here? That is here. We have a few playoff teams. We have a Super Bowl team in the Philadelphia Eagles, but we're getting straight into round number two, the round of 16. After this, we'll have eight teams remaining. And we are going to start it off with the LA Rams. And now let's go ahead and see who the Rams are going to play in the first matchup of round two that we play in the Jacksonville Jaguars. You know, I actually expected the Rams to have a pretty decent showing in this, but they have lost two straight games to teams I think they're honestly better than if they're at full strength. The Jags are a good team, though. I'm not surprised that the Jags won, but I thought the Rams would win it. They lost to the Falcons, too. But the Rams, who won the Super Bowl last year, are going to round three of this. Which team will be joining the LA Rams in round number three? Is it going to be Dolphins or Eagles? We're going to have the Eagles. That would be interesting to see the Eagles, who are in the Super Bowl, go to round three. They'll be facing the Lions. We saw this matchup in the regular season this year. The Detroit Lions are not playing any games here in round two. They have a 25-point lead over the Eagles in Philly and they have a chance to score again and they almost do that was almost caught by DJ Char I mean this game is pretty much over but I just want to say how are the Eagles who are a Super Bowl team going to be going around three with seven other teams to be possible the NFL's biggest loser and they have a chance to win the Super Bowl in a few days that's probably the biggest shocker to me in this entire tournament seeing the Eagles in the round of eight now we have the Pittsburgh Steelers and which team are the Steelers going to take on they lost to the Packers in round one what matchup will they have? Looks like it's either going to be Broncos country or the Vikings. It'll be Minnesota. The Pittsburgh Steelers are going to go victory formation here in Pittsburgh against the Vikings. They are going to win this one by two touchdowns and the Vikings will be going to the round of eight. Ten teams left in this round. And next up, we are going to have either the Bengals. We are going to have Broncos country. And the Denver Broncos are going to wind up facing in this round the San Francisco 49ers. And with 49 seconds left, the 49ers are going to get the ball back. Just got to pick up a little bit of yardage here. One first down to Jawan Jennings is probably all they need for the game-winning field goal. We are jumping in on the field to see if they can hit it for the win. This is Madden Sims. They didn't call a timeout. Why is Madden so broken with the simulations? They had a timeout, didn't call it, and now we're in overtime. I cannot stand Madden sometimes. Makes absolutely no sense why they're in overtime. They didn't even attempt a field goal kick. And now this time, they're second and 14, the 49ers. They should be able to win. Third and 11. Fourth and six. They kick the field goal, and the 49ers move on. The 49ers get the win, which I expected them to against that team. The Broncos aren't a very good team compared to the 49ers. Now we have the Bengals. And the team that the Bengals will be taking on. This should be a good one. We have Dolphins-Bengals with a healthy Tua. Very surprising. The Dolphins didn't do as good as I thought they would. They still put up 24 points, but the Bengals offense went off joe burrow did not want to be in this tournament anymore they score 39 points and they'll be gone the dolphins will be moving around three six teams left in this round we have three more matchups and we are going to have the chicago bears and let's see who the chicago bears are going to take on they are going to take on the new orleans saints in chicago and the saints have absolutely decimated this bears team 48 to 7 55 to 7 that's the most points we've seen in this entire tournament, which is absolutely ridiculous. They put up 55 points on Chicago. That's why they're getting the number one pick. Four more teams here. So like we did last time, we're going to draw this matchup. And we'll obviously have the remaining two teams for the next matchup. So we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And the Buccaneers will be taking on either the Jets, Texans, or Raiders. It is going to be the Raiders. A lot of people thought Tom Brady was going to go, but obviously he's retired. That means our final matchup is going to be Jets, Texans for this round. Let's just see who's going to get home field, and then we'll jump into the Buccaneers game. We will be headed to Houston. Fourth and 10 from their own 20-yard line. Let me know in the comments if you would go for this if you were an NFL coach. Down eight points. You still have all three timeouts. You would have had the two-minute warning, too. But they're going to air it out for Devontae Adams, and it's going to be broken up. And now Tampa's going to take over at the Raiders 20. This one's probably over now. I would probably punt. I understand not punting there because you don't know if you're going to get the ball back with Tom Brady on the other side. They already scored a touchdown. It's 35-20, 42-20. This game is over. The Bucks are gone. Tom Brady's final game as a Buccaneer and we're going to have the Raiders in round three. And in our final matchup, it's 31-7, 38-7, New York Jets, they get a win. We might end up seeing Bears, Texans in the championship of this. After round three, we are now left with eight teams that have a chance to be called the NFL's biggest loser. And here is our wheel of eight teams, in my opinion. The biggest surprise, obviously, is the Eagles. Hopefully, they can win. 
in this round. We're going to have the Dolphins, who are a little bit of a surprise, too. They were a playoff team. The Vikings, the Rams have a really good roster. They're at full strength, so no excuses, no injuries. They have Ramsey, Donald, Cooper Cup, Matthew Stafford. And who are they going to be taking on? It's going to be Dolphins-Eagles. This is not an easy win for the Eagles. The Eagles are down again. They're down 8 points, 15 points. Jalen Hurts, they just tied the game with 33 seconds left. That is crazy. I was trying to jump in. It went so quick. We might be going to overtime. But this game still does have a good amount of time left. And with the ball at the 42-yard line and two timeouts for the Dolphins, they can get into field goal range when they have guys like Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. Dolphins just need like 15 yards or so to give it a chance at a game-winning field goal here. They still have a timeout. Tua has time. Hassan Reddick, and he's picked. Wow. Hassan Reddick was trying to get some pressure. Didn't really get a lot of pressure, but then Tua throws a pick, and now the Eagles have a chance to win it right here. So now we're jumping with Jalen Hurts with 19 seconds left. They don't have any timeouts, though. But 42-42, what a game. Jalen Hurts looking towards the sideline, and it's caught. Dallas Goddard, and he gets out of bounds. What a throw by Jalen Hurts. And now for the win with 14 seconds left, most likely the kick is up. And it is perfect for a three-point lead. Are the Eagles finally done in this tournament? And I believe they are. Nick Sirianni looked happy. Mike McDaniel does not look happy. So that means the Eagles have won this game 45 to 42. The final four is starting to form. We have the Dolphins in the next round and the Rams are up next. And the Rams are going to be facing Broncos country. Look at Broncos country. They are riding right now. They are riding right out of this tournament because you don't want to be in it. Denver has won. Russell Wilson has won. 38 to 17. I cannot believe the Rams are in the final four. It is a little exciting though that we do have some pretty solid teams. In the final four, the Vikings, who are a playoff team, have a chance to go to the final four, too. I would like the Vikings to play either the Bears or the Texans, because I would like to see both of these teams in the next round. Hopefully, the Texans are going to play the Vikings, which obviously means we are going to have Bears Raiders as our other matchup, and Chicago is going to host the game. The Texans will be going to the final four unless the Vikings have an ultimate collapse. It's 33-20. If the Vikings choked that, that would have been crazy. But the Vikings finally win. The Texans are in the final four. The Raiders are up 38 to 6, 45 to 6. What is with these teams just absolutely destroying the Chicago Bears? So the team with the number one overall pick in the draft is going to be in the final four. And the number two pick in the draft is going to be the final four. Then last year's Super Bowl champion and a playoff team this year. Round four is here and it's the final four. One of these four teams are going to be the NFL's biggest loser. Leave your predictions in the comments. And we are down to four. Let's find our first matchup. It is going to be the LA Rams. Who are the Rams going to be taking on? Can they finally win? Three teams. The Bears the Dolphins, the Texans. Who are they taking on? So we have Rams, Texans, and we're gonna have Dolphins, Bears. And let's find home field for this Dolphins, Bears game. The Bears might not wanna host these games anymore because they're getting blown out at home. And since this is the final few games, we are gonna simulate this entire game on Super Sim. We're gonna go back and forth, see who takes the upper hand. If it gets super close to the end, we might jump in on the field for some key moments, but right now it's 10-0 Rams. Texans actually come up with a big stop there, which they needed, but now it's 17-10 Rams. And now we have a tie game, 17-17, 24-17. We got a tie game right here, 27-24. Rams are fourth and 11, so the Texans will get the ball back because they're going to kick three but with only 28 seconds left. Davis Mills and the Texans are going to have to go all the way down the field. That's not going to happen, and they'll be in the loser bowl. And now it's time for Dolphins, Bears. Who will meet the Texans in the loser bowl? 3-0 Bears, 7-3 Dolphins, 14-3 Dolphins. I'm not going to be surprised if we see Bears Texans, but I really didn't think we'd see it because they're number one and number two pick in the draft. I just thought with all the randomness of Madden, for it to come down to that is crazy. And that is what we're going to see. It's going to be Bears Texans in the Loser Bowl. And in the Loser Bowl, our final game, we have the Chicago Bears taking on the Houston Texans. And here we go. It's the Loser Bowl. It is Loser Bowl 57. Bears Texans the Lombardi trophy is going to go to the winner of this game but the loser of this game is going to win the better trophy they're going to win the loser bowl trophy let's see who's going to lose this game let's see who's going to take it here we go Texans start off hot they get three points they get a touchdown it's 10 nothing Texans Bears look at answer though they get seven Bears get another seven it's 14 10 Bears 17 10 Bears 
24-10. We're in the fourth quarter, and the Bears are looking to dominate the Texans. They lead them 34-10, 34-18. The Texans don't have enough time, and the Bears are going to win this game. They win this Super Bowl, but the Texans are going to take home the Loser Bowl trophy. They are the NFL's biggest loser, according to Madden. That's going to do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. In the comments down below, let me know what challenge, what video do you want to see next. Peace.